In this chapter, I shall tell you about removing blemishes with the healing brush and patch tools. So, I will use Ctrl plus 1 in order to the zoom into 100%. So, I am going to switch to the Spot Healing Brush. The Spot Healing Brush tool, you don't need to tell Photoshop where the sample point is. So, we will start with the Spot Healing Brush. And one other thing is you might want to make sure is that you have got the Content Aware option turned on. This technology is available in the Spot Healing Brush. I am going to zoom in once more time. And then I will hold down the space bar to get my hand tool. That way we can pan around the image. Alright, so with Content Aware option turned on, all I need to do is click and drag over the area that I want Photoshop to fix. I can click and drag with the brush and then have Photoshop correct that whole area. So now I did a much better job in my opinion. And we can see how easy it is to move through our image and just correct all of these little blemishes. Alright, so I am going to use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus minus to just zoom out one level. Now. If you are not comfortable working on a background layer, you can actually create a new layer and you can use the healing brush to clone to that new layer. I am going to click the new layer icon in the bottom of the layers panel. And that just adds a blank layer. Now, if I start trying to use the sport healing brush, right now, nothing's going to happen and that's because I am on this blank layer. Come up to the top here and tell Photoshop to sample all of the layers and then heal those layers. So we will paint over this. You can see that I can toggle off and on the opacity of that layer to hide and reveal what I have just changed. So, as you can see, the Spot Healing Brush tool can be quite helpful when retouching blemishes and other distracting elements in Photoshop. Next, I shall tell you about brightening eyes to make a person appear more alert. In order to brighten the eyes, I will switch to the Lasso tool. So, I will tap the L key. But, we can also tap the caps lock key. When we enable that, we get the crosshairs. And now, I am just going to make a loose selection right here, around the whites of the eyes. If I want to add to the selection, I need to hold down the shift key. Shift key, I get a little plus icon next to the cursor there that tells me that I am adding to my selection. And then, I will hold down the space bar and scoot over to the other eye. Again, holding down the shift key in order to add to my selection. And then, one more time in that last area there. Once I have both eyes selected at the bottom of the layers panel, I will add a huge saturation adjustment layer. This time, I do want to remove all the color in the eye. So, we will decrease the saturation. I can also see that there's a little bit of a hard edge to this selection. So, using the properties panel, clicking on the mask, I will increase the amount of feather so that we get a soft edge. I want to reuse this selection in order to brighten the whites of the eyes. So, I will hold down the control key and I will click on the mask thumbnail of the hue saturation 2 adjustment layer. That loads that mask as a selection. 
I can then select the curves adjustment layer. And I will just brighten the curve a little bit by clicking and dragging up. So we will just make a very slight change by dragging up the curve. We will close the properties panel. Now let's zoom out. I will use control plus zero and we can toggle on and off the visibility of the layer. So there you go. Quick techniques to just brighten the eyes in a portrait. Next, I shall tell you about removing unwanted details with content aware fill. Photoshop has a number of different tools to help you remove distracting elements. So let's go ahead and start with the content aware fill technology. Press L key to select lasso tool. I have my lasso tool selected and I am going to want to remove this area. So I am going to make a selection around this area. So then we will select the edit menu and choose fill. Now normally fill for content is set to your foreground color. but. I select content aware and click OK and deselect that by using Ctrl plus D. You can see that it does a really nice job filling that area. So there you go different tools to help get rid of distracting elements in your images.